The Xiaomi 13 Ultra has the most advanced camera system right now. With a massive one-inch sensor, same size as what you would find in compact digital cameras, a variable aperture, flagship 50 megapixel sensors on all the three other modules, and Leica lenses. So let's see how it stacks up against the iPhone 14 Pro in 35 different tests. Everything from regular outdoor shots to zoom, ultrawide, macro, raw, action mode, and so, so much more. Starting off with this outdoor HDR shot, there's a pretty big difference between the two. With the iPhone applying a lot of sharpening in post as opposed to the more natural look of the Xiaomi, which I much prefer alongside its more vibrant look. Xiaomi is more noisy though, if you look at the top of this building, it seems like the iPhone is applying some noise reduction here. This next shot is a really good example of how they both handle colors. Xiaomi was set to like a vibrant mode, and once again you'll notice that the iPhone added a lot of sharpening in post, whereas the Xiaomi kept it less processed. Also, because of how big Xiaomi's sensor is, we get a portrait mode-like photo without a need to take it in portrait mode. So you can even see the focus fall off uh, if you take a look at the flowers in the background, which is very impressive coming from a phone. The last outdoor shot is quite similar between the two, with great exposure and colors on both. Once again, I do prefer the less sharpened look of the Xiaomi alongside its more vibrant colors. I think the water and the trees are both good examples of where the iPhone simply sharpened the image way too much. So when it comes to outdoor shots in general, uh, the Xiaomi does perform better, with less image processing and significantly more depth of field, especially when the subject is close, thanks to that one in sensor, which is about 20% bigger than the iPhone's. Moving on to some indoor shots, again, you can see how the iPhone has a significant amount of sharpening added and also a good amount of noise, whereas the Xiaomi is much cleaner and also with a much more natural look. This area underneath the table is just too bright on the iPhone, whereas in reality, it was closer to how it looks on the Xiaomi. The second indoor shot is a close-up of an object. And here, I do prefer the iPhone's colors and brightness way more. However, if we zoom in, you can see that the Xiaomi has better detail, especially towards the bottom of the ice cream cone. And there is also less noise if you take a look at the table area. In our last indoor shot, probably the biggest difference here is once again the depth of field. You can see how the iPhone got the chair and the rail on the left in focus, whereas the Xiaomi didn't. If we zoom into the straws on the left, you can see how Xiaomi has more detail. However, the iPhone was able to expose the bright highlights better, so yeah, I do prefer the iPhone here. All in all, if you go to a lot of restaurants and take a lot of indoor photos, then the Xiaomi 13 Ultra does seem to offer you an image with less noise, less sharpening, uh, and with a bit more detail, especially when there isn't enough light. So now let's compare the zoom modules. The Xiaomi has a 3.2x module, whereas the iPhone's is 3x. However, in practice, it seems like the iPhone is actually more zoomed in. The Xiaomi has noticeably more detail though, especially if you take a look at the windows on the building here. If we zoom in even more to 10x, the iPhone would simply use its digital zoom on its 12 megapixel 3x zoom module whereas the Xiaomi does have a 5x periscope zoom module that is also 50 megapixels in resolution. So it will also zoom in digitally, but with that much resolution to play with, the image, as you can probably see, will be significantly sharper. The iPhone's image also lacks contrast and looks very washed out. If we zoom in even more to 30x, the difference is once again very clear with a graffiti artwork being much higher res on the Xiaomi, and same goes for the texture on the window blinds, which is missing entirely on the iPhone. The iPhone also seems to once again have some very washed out colors here. So if you care about zoom, uh, the Xiaomi is a much better option. In terms of portrait mode, they both seem to have done an incredible job, until you zoom in and realize that the Xiaomi was able to separate my individual hairs, which is very impressive. If you look at my backpack, you can see how the Xiaomi managed to get a handle perfectly separated, and same goes to the left-hand side of the image, where the iPhone did mess up my jacket quite a bit. The background blur also looks more DSLR-like to my eye on the Xiaomi. One area where the iPhone did do better was on my jacket, which was sharper thanks to Apple's Deep Fusion, but other than that, Xiaomi did a much better job here. Next up, we have portrait mode pets, and it seems like the iPhone only got Ren's nose and blurred everything else. I do like the gradual blur, though, that becomes stronger the further away you get from her nose. I do prefer Xiaomi's blur, though, as you can see Ren's entire face while still getting that gradual blur too, just not as strong as on the iPhone. Although, Xiaomi's shot is a bit too dark. We also took a portrait mode shot of these flowers here using the 3X lens on both, and the difference between the two is just night and day. The iPhone tried to massively blur the background, but messed up quite badly. Now, the Xiaomi though is absolutely flawless. It generally looks like a DSLR shot. So when it comes to portrait mode shots, they both perform really well, no matter if you're shooting a person, a pet, or even an object. 
but the Xiaomi 13 Ultra does seem to have better edge detection and a more realistic blur, which I found the iPhone to overdo. Moving on to the ultra wide test, the field of view is noticeably wider on the Xiaomi, but it is also softer towards the edges and way too dark. It does have more natural detail on the street with much less noise, and same goes for the roof on the right you get a sharper and less processed image. However, color and style-wise, I do prefer the iPhone's look here. In this next ultra-wide, once you zoom in, you'll see how much sharper the iPhone is, although most of it is just post-processing. At the same time, I do feel like the Xiaomi is a bit too soft, especially if you take a look at the corners of the image, something that you do normally see with ultra-wide lenses. However, the iPhone doesn't seem to have this issue. I do overall prefer the ultrawide on the Xiaomi here. I think it simply nailed the style and the color choice. Once we go indoors, the difference between the two becomes very significant. With the Xiaomi having significantly more texture detail, better highlight exposure in the lights, and also looks more natural than the iPhone, which is very washed out. So in terms of the ultrawide in daytime, the difference is mostly when it comes to post-processing sharpness on the iPhone. Um, but once the light level drops, the Xiaomi performs much better thanks to its larger f1.8 aperture as opposed to the iPhone's f2.2. Macro mode is a bit of a different story. Xiaomi does have macro capabilities, but it simply cannot focus as close as the iPhone. So this is an area where the iPhone does do much better. We have actually matched the images in our edits to make it easier for you, but originally, this is how close they could each focus. We also tested the raw capabilities, and uh, they were both able to recover about the same shadow and highlight detail, with the Xiaomi having slightly more highlight detail retention than the iPhone. However, when it came to the overall resolution, the iPhone looked noticeably higher res, despite it having a 48 megapixel module as opposed to the Xiaomi's 50 megapixels. Not only that, but the iPhone was also less noisy. I would definitely go with the iPhone here because of the drastic difference in detail. Video is where the iPhone always wins, and even though it does still take the crown here, this is the first time when a phone came extremely close with almost identical colors and almost identical HDR processing. The level of detail is also very similar between the two, with the iPhone being slightly more detailed in some areas, despite it having almost half the bit rates of the Xiaomi. The biggest difference is in terms of the foreground objects, which were uh, way more in focus on the iPhone compared to the Xiaomi. Everything else, the highlights and the shadow details were very good on both. So the iPhone is still the video king for now, but the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is also a very good pick. The Xiaomi can also do 8K video on all of its four lenses, albeit only at 24 frames per second, whereas the iPhone is limited to 4K. And here you can definitely tell the difference between the two, especially when you zoom in. Interestingly enough, the Xiaomi also has better shadow detail, despite me setting the iPhone to 4K 30, which does improve its HDR processing. When it comes to ultra-wide video, even though the Xiaomi has superior optics, the iPhone's footage is noticeably more detailed and less noisy if you take a look at the shadow underneath the trees. Colors and brightness levels are surprisingly similar on both though. So once again, if you care about video, the iPhone is the king in every way. Both phones also support action mode, but there are some major differences here, with the Xiaomi only supporting 1080p 30 compared to 2.8K 60 on the iPhone. The level of stabilization is pretty good on both, a bit better on the iPhone, as the Xiaomi did suffer from some camera shakes, but because of the major difference in resolution and frame rates, the iPhone is the clear choice here. And they also both support portrait mode video. And once again, the Xiaomi is limited to just 1080p 30 compared to 4K 30 on the iPhone. The edge separation is pretty good on both, slightly better on the iPhone, especially if you take a look at a tree. So if you do want to shoot some cinematic video, none of them are perfect, but the iPhone is definitely the better option. Now let's move on to some night shots and see how that massive one in sensor on the Xiaomi performs. First, we have this evening shot that was taken without night mode, and I gotta say, I was expecting a bigger difference here. I mean, sure, the Xiaomi does have less noise if you take a look at the water or the building to the left or even the sky, and it also appears to have less sharpening added in post, but I was generally expected to be blown away here. I do have to give props to Xiaomi for getting the look way closer to how it looked in real life, whereas the iPhone got it way too bright. In this next one, they both use their night modes, and this is where we finally start seeing a pretty big difference. If we zoom into the building in the center, the Xiaomi is noticeably more detailed to the point where you can almost see inside the main building. Taking a look at the second night mode shot, you can see how the flowers of the tree are more detailed on the Xiaomi, whereas the iPhone just lacks all of that detail. And same goes for the fence, which is also more detailed on the Xiaomi. Xiaomi also has more realistic colors here, with the iPhone brightening the area a bit too much whilst also being quite washed out. And Xiaomi also managed to expose the windows of the buildings much better, whereas the iPhone blew them out. In our last night mode shot, we have a much darker scene, and once again, we can see how much more detail we get from the Xiaomi, especially if we take a look at the ground texture, the van, singles for the tree, the branches are way more detailed on the Xiaomi. All in all, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra does perform better in low light than the iPhone 14 Pro. 
as it should, giving the much larger sensor, but I was honestly hoping for a much bigger difference here. So what about night mode on all the other lenses? Well, we have the 3X module to test first, and here there's a pretty big difference between the two, with the Xiaomi being substantially more detailed if you take a look at the fence, the grass, the tree, you can even see the individual branches. And if we are to compare the 10x zoom, there is an even bigger difference, despite the Xiaomi only having 5x optical zoom compared to the 3x on the iPhone. And here we have the ultrawide using night mode, pretty big difference here, with the Xiaomi not only being noticeably wider, uh, but if you take a look at the fence on the left or the tower, you'll see that they are perfectly sharp, whereas on the iPhone they are both quite blurry. The middle of the bridge is also more detailed and less noisy on the Xiaomi, so it seems like night mode is better on the Xiaomi, no matter which lens you use. So what about night portrait? Well, as you can see, there is a gigantic difference between the two. Just take a look at how detailed my face is on the Xiaomi compared to the noisy mess on the iPhone 14 Pro. However, the iPhone 14 Pro did blur the background, whereas the Xiaomi has almost no blur at all. Personally, I'd still pick the Xiaomi because of the drastic difference in quality. So what about night video? Well, the most noticeable difference here is in terms of the brightness, with the iPhone being much brighter. One of the reasons here being the fact that it automatically switched to 30 frames per second, which is a setting that you can toggle on and off, although it is set to on by default. I gotta say, I am quite surprised by how clean Xiaomi is, and Xiaomi also looked much closer to how the scene looked in real life to my eyes whereas the iPhone just brightened up the image way too much. They're both good in their own way here, so it's up to you which style you prefer. Do you prefer the brighter image of the iPhone or the more natural look of the Xiaomi? So what about a front-facing camera? We have a 12 megapixel sensor on the iPhone compared to a 32 on the Xiaomi, and here it seems like the iPhone is more detailed. If you take a look at my hair, it seems uh, to be slightly out of focus on the Xiaomi. And I also much prefer the image processing on the iPhone here. Yes, the Xiaomi is far more natural, but if I were to post one of these photos, I would definitely post the iPhones. Plus the iPhone also has a slightly wider field of view. When it comes to the front portrait though, uh, Xiaomi is better here. If you zoom in, you'll see that the Xiaomi has more detail, uh, whereas the iPhone is a bit more noisy. The background HDR processing is almost identical on both, but my coat on the Xiaomi does look more true to life. So in this case, I would post the Xiaomi photo. Right, this is a front-facing video test between the iPhone 14 Pro and the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. So let us know what you think of the highlights, of the shadows and the HDR processing in general, and also let us know what you think of the audio. Which one sounds better? Is it the iPhone or is it the uh, Xiaomi 13 Ultra? In terms of the front video, as you probably noticed, the Xiaomi lacks any kind of HDR. Not only that, but the footage was only 1080p 60 as opposed to 4K 60 on the iPhone, so major difference here. And I also thought that the mic sounded better on the iPhone with more dynamic range and less processing. In terms of front night, yeah, this is pretty bad on both. The iPhone is simply way too noisy, while the Xiaomi smoothened out all that noise way too much. And also, I don't know why the Xiaomi has this severe green cast, which looks extremely unnatural. So when it comes to the front camera, the Xiaomi did do better for portrait fronts, but other than that, the iPhone is superior. All in all, I gotta be honest, I did have much higher expectations from the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. I don't really get why a lot of the video features are limited to 1080p when this thing is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and also 16 gigabytes of RAM. It just makes zero sense. A couple of quick things to point out. The iPhone's minimal focus distance on the main lens is about 20 to 30 centimeters, which is a lot. So you have to be quite far away from your subject, otherwise it will end up looking blurry. However, the iPhone did manage to keep all the colors consistent between the lenses, whereas the Xiaomi had some pretty severe color shift, especially on its 5X telephoto module. Also, the Xiaomi does have that variable aperture on the main module that can switch from f1.9 to f4. I left it on automatic and to be honest, I've never seen it switch once. It took every single photo at f1.9. But you can't deny the fact that aside from video and the front-facing camera, the back cameras on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra are indeed better than the iPhone 14 Pro. They offer significantly more detail, especially in lower light situations, and you also get that nice bokeh and gradual blur that you typically get from dedicated cameras. I also love that Xiaomi applies considerably less processing in post, so you do get a much cleaner image that way. But like I said before, I was generally hoping for the sensor to be a much bigger deal. And whilst it was definitely better than the iPhones in almost all of the situations, um, I was hoping for that difference to be even greater. Yeah, do stay tuned for a camera comparison against the uh, S23 Ultra. I'm Daniel, this has been Zone of Tech, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Zone of Tech, signing out. Cheers.